Hi you guys, my name is Oshun, Oshun the Great, and welcome, welcome to my beautiful channel. Uh, today I kind of wanted to touch on the truth about anxiety and depression. Yes, the truth. <laughs> now the truth about anxiety and depression is that a large part of our collective actually deals with anxiety and depression. Contrary to popular belief, we are not perfect. So sometimes I know that a lot of us get social anxiety when we leave our house because everyone has these masks on, you know, portraying that they're perfect, that they have everything together, they're good at adulting. That couldn't be the mo that couldn't be further from the truth. That is such utter bullshit. <laughs> so being with that being said, we are all human beings and we all suffer from similar traits of anxiety, depression, feelings of insecurity you know all these things sadness unhappiness you know all of us suffer from that so don't believe you know run from the people who act like they are dealing with you know acting like they're perfect basically because they're just crazy <laughs> um with that being said that should relieve some of the anxiety that you feel on a daily basis you have to keep in mind that you aren't perfect and it's okay we are we grow up a lot of times in a society that preaches perfection which is really insanity no one is perfect so you have to, to keep that in mind and understand that you have to accept yourself the way you are also understand that it's not all you <laughs> the problem isn't you understand that we also live in a society that is really fast paced growing at a really fast rate hence how our technology is moving rapidly hence our learning styles are changing really fast everything is so high paced everyone's always like work 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 go 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 and there's no time there's no time to be like just chill relax and just be so understand that is another added factor into why you can be anxiety written and depressed now <laughs> so now that we got that out of the way <laughs> calm down <laughs> no okay so all right so with that being said anxiety and depression has been something that i have dealt with my entire life Partly because I have grown up in a very abusive household, but even so, I deal with anxiety and depression somewhat in my adulthood every now and then. Everyone does to a certain extent. Uh, this can be caused by symptoms of failure, not feeling like you are where you want to be in your life, um, breaking up with people, you know, many, many things. Um, as I always say, my theory of what causes anxiety and depression a lot of times is having these added stress and factors of what people expect from us, uh, trying to be accepted, trying to live up to these standards in society that really no one can live up to. We aren't perfect. So once we try to re be carefree and relieve ourselves of all these chains, that can help us in a lot of in our anxiety and depression. Now, with that being said, I understand anxiety and depression isn't something that you can just be like, oh, just don't be anxiety written or don't be depressed it's not that easy because trust me i've been at the lowest of the low it can be times where you just want to be in bed all day every day now i got into the point in my life where i fight that feeling i just get up and go because at the end of the day you have to understand that life is short you you only have so much time here on planet earth and you have to ask yourself do you want to live it wallowing away or do you want to try to create and add to the collective and be who you are um, and get the most out of life uh, so with that being said it's not shameful to ask for help to voice that you have anxiety and depression and to look for all the methods that may help you in your journey so meditating trying new spiritual practices or even medication whatever works for you so use this as confirmation that you know it's okay to not be okay <laughs> Um, so some of the ways that I kind of deal with depression in my life is trying to live my life for myself first and foremost. I make sure that I'm the dictator of my life and I'm authority first and foremost of my life. What makes me happy? What makes me feel good? Um, what do I need? And a lot of people may not always see it your way, but they're not meant to. If they don't get it, they don't get it. Um, if you are ever to the point of suicidal tendencies, or depression to the point where it's like out of hand you know you make that final call if you need help reach out for help again but if you feel like you know fuck everything else I'm gonna go travel the world I'm gonna go do this at that point take the necessary measures to get yourself out of that rut and consider your surroundings because it very well might be that you're surrounded by assholes or you're in a traumatic family uh, situation or you're being abused 
you're in an abusive relationship or you're just in a town that you have outgrown there's many things that add to your anxiety and depression so you have to always 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 sit with yourself in solitude and, and see what the factors are because it's not always you and even so let's say you try everything um and you still have issues keep <laughs> keep looking for alternatives you just can't give up on yourself um, at the end of the day, you have to understand that you are worthy um, and you just can't get up guilt on yourself. You got to believe in yourself enough to understand that you are you are here for a reason and that you have to try every way. Um, and even when you think there's no other way, <laughs> try again because that's how important you are. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> hopefully this helps somewhat. Let me see if I can elaborate on some things that I do um, for me. I obviously had to get myself out of my family situation that was causing a lot of stress, trauma, you know, crazy shit that was going on there. Traveling was one way that I kept my depression at bay. Just wandering keeps my depression at bay, to be honest. Um, I used to have a lot of panic attacks and anxiety attacks when I was younger, but not so much anymore. But that's when I was in situations working a job that uh, didn't didn't resonate with me and my energy so you have to really check you know yourself and what you need um and you have to learn about yourself um what else so what else helped me being in nature breathing meditating um being in water being in the sun actually helps me a lot um being outdoors because sometimes when we get in depression we just want to lay in bed all day every day and that doesn't help anything um being on the go doing stuff that I am passionate about, helping others. I noticed that when I dedicated my life to others, you know, I have no time to fill my mind with worry or doubt. If anything I know at the end of the day, I'm helping people and that's, I can be good with that. Um, so you have to decide at the end of the day again. Um, so what else do I do? I do journaling is a huge one. Um, and honestly, you, you can do all of these it's, it's no one way to do this you can you can pick three out of all the lists or do a whole list or one thing might just work for you but um drinking lots of water your nutrition is a big deal a lot of us don't eat right a lot of us don't drink right that adds to anxiety and depression um smoking weed helps some people <laughs> that's medicating in a way um going for a run exercising helps a lot dancing helps a lot to be honest um what else being active is a big one um, speaking on topics you love, YouTube helps me <laughs> with anxiety and depression. Um, what else? Turning your negatives, negatives and positives, alchemy. Again, so I use YouTube for that as well. Um, drawing, art. There's so many ways to, you know, channel that. And social anxiety is kind of different. That's, you have to ultimately train yourself to be okay in crowds and get out your comfort zone. But also just not give a fuck. Um, you don't, you're not here to please anybody. You can, when you go out, you can be the isolated, lonely loner. You do not even have to look at anybody, contact anybody. <laughs> you're not weird. You're not, you know, you're just yourself. It's okay to be a little nervous when you're out. You're not obligated to do anything, you know, that you don't want. Um, you know, if people take your mannerisms as weird or not socially acceptable, that's them. Um, so ease yourself up into these situations little by little. So it's it's no right or wrong into living life, you know. Um, just don't police yourself as much. If you feel anxiety, that's normal. Things of that nature. And yeah. Honestly, realize with anything though, it takes time. It's not going to happen overnight. Especially if you've been dealing with this for a long time. Pace yourself. Keep going. That's all that matters. Be dope, be unapologetically. Peace.